Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Satoshi Sean. Glad you're here. Glad to be hanging out with you. Uh, if it's your first time here, which this might be your first time here because this is an instructional video, um, please hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I try to get out as much content as possible every week, whether it's uh, news with the crypto lunch break or shows with uh, friends of mine in the space, which may not always be that informative, but they're always entertaining. Um, reviews, interviews, uh, announcements, just tons of content. Um, please crush the like button, whether you're a new subscriber, old subscriber, just passing through. If you thought this was a makeup tutorial, um, whatever, just crush the like button. It really helps me out. Um, I didn't think there was a real huge need for this video, but I've had a, a couple people, uh, specifically uh, Jacques, um, my subscribers that have asked me for this, which when I first started using Binance Smart Chain, it was very difficult to uh, to get started, to get BNB into my MetaMask wallet. Um, it's not super hard for people that can use Binance or use Binance, um, but I'm in I'm an American, so uh, we, we do have Binance US, but I'm in Texas, so there's a handful of states that can't even use Binance US. And then there's different countries that can't use Binance at all. Um, so we have to use a bridge in order to uh, to get our BNB into the into our MetaMask wallet after we add the Binance Smart Chain onto the MetaMask wallet. Um, but that was months ago. So most exchanges have kind of come around and it made it easier to withdraw, which I'll kind of hit on that in this real quick. But it's also kind of new. So some exchanges, it doesn't really work, even though they have it set up. It works for depositing, but if you want to pull your money off, sometimes it'll tell you that the, uh, that the wallet address doesn't, uh, isn't valid. Um, in that case, then you have to use the bridge instead of sending it directly to your MetaMask wallet. But in most cases now, you can, uh, you can utilize your MetaMask wallet directly without using this bridge wallet, which, uh, I'll tell you about, but, uh, if you need to or you have any trouble, it's really easy to use. It's really easy to, to kind of get this work around. So let's jump into this. Um, I do have to uh, kind of share my screen in a weird way because I have the wallets coming up. So they don't, since they're like separate pages, they don't show up. So I have to just share the entire screen. Um, also, please leave a comment so you're uh, registered to win free crypto. I give away crypto. Uh, pretty much every week, every, you know, week and a half or whatever on the crypto lunch break. Um, but I just go back. All you have to do is to uh, be subscribed to the channel and leave a comment and you're automatically entered in for that week. Um, just pick a ran random comment and then you win crypto. All right. So let's let me make this a little bigger so you guys can see. And then Share my screen. Okay, so let's get started. First thing, you want to make sure that you've uh, added the Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet. Um, if you click up here, it should tell you all the different ones, which I have Binance Smart Chain. But once you add it, once you add it onto your wallet. If you import any other wallets onto to it, you'll you'll have it on there. But if you go to you know switch over to the Binance uh, Smart Chain wallet or the Binance Smart Chain, it's not there. Then you'll need to add it. To do that, it's very simple. Um, go to here we go. You go to settings, and you have general, advanced, contacts, security, privacy, alerts, and then networks. So you're going to go to networks. And then here, you, we have it. This is the one we're on. But if it's not there, then you would click on Add Network. And it's real simple. I'm going to leave a link to this. It's in uh, Binance Academy. Um, it scrolls down and actually gives you all the little steps for you in case you, you know, don't have this video. You can do it just from this page. You just copy and paste. The, uh, the network name is Smart Chain. And then that. And then the chain ID. And I think once you put this in there, everything else populates. But if not, you can just put the rest of it there and then you click on save and then you are set. Then that is added on. 
All right, so then we're done. Now, this is your MetaMask wallet with on the Binance Smart Chain. So you need to send BNB. Now, uh, if you have a, a Binance account, that's no problem. You can send it straight from that. But if you don't, and you're trying to send it from a different uh, exchange, it can give you some uh, some issues. So you may need to use a bridge wallet. This wallet is what's called a, a BEP20, BEP20. Um, you can see BEP20 and then BEP2. BEP2, I think, is like the main main that this one is a uh, kind of like a a parallel chain, but this is the one that you'll be using. You can send it directly to your uh, uh, MetaMask wallet. You don't need to use the um, bridge wallet. However, uh, like KuCoin, KuCoin is one that gives me trouble. When I put in my MetaMask address, it says it's not a valid address, so I have to send it to that. But if I use a BitMax or a Sendex, and this has three different ones, um, if I use the, the BEP20, I can send it straight to my MetaMask wallet, no problem. So it's it it should work. Maybe they'll have it fixed soon with KuCoin and some other exchanges. But if not, you can just use the, uh, the bridge wallet. Okay, so the bridge wallet is the actual Binance wallet. All right, let me pull it up here. This is a Binance extension wallet that you can get... Uh, you know, uh, just just uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to it so you can get uh, where to get it. But this is the uh, you download this and it's an extension on Chrome or whatever, um, and then you can send from anywhere to this. You can send it from Crypto.com account app, uh, any other exchanges, Exodus, wherever. Um, no problem. You can send it here. Now, once it's here. You can send it directly to your MetaMask wallet, no problem, because this is a this is the bridge wallet. This is like having a Binance account. Like I said, you can always send your BNB from Binance. If you have a Binance account and you're logged into your Binance account, you buy BNB, you can send it directly to your uh, to any wallet. So that's what this is. It's just basically a like a a non custodial. Own your own keys, Binance wallet. So uh, once you send it here to this wallet, then you can send it over to your MetaMask wallet. And MetaMask is the wallet that you can connect to everything for DeFi, whether that's, uh, you know, farming and everything else. So you need to get it to your, uh, to, your BN, to your MetaMask wallet in order to take part in all that. And that, this is the wallet that you would use. So super simple, like I said. Um, if you're having if you're having trouble sending it to your BEP20, um, and you should always send a little, you know, send a small bit first just to make sure it goes through. But uh, you can use this bridge wallet, send it all here. Once it's here, then you send it over to your MetaMask wallet, and you're set. Simple, simple. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's not a lot to go over. Um, so you can you just first have to add the add the mainnet. Don't add the testnet. Just 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 a little thing that could go wrong. But make sure you add the mainnet to your uh, your MetaMask wallet. You don't need to add anything to this because this is that's what this bridge wallet is. It's the the Binance extension wallet. Um, so this is just a tool that you that I really needed to have the past few months. But like I said, most. Uh, most exchanges are now um, giving you those options to send it through the, the different different network. So uh, the BEP20 will go to your MetaMask wallet directly um, unless there's a hiccup. And I mean, I guess you could reach out to, to the customer service for that exchange and everything, but it's just much easier to. If you get that error, then still send it on the BEP20. I don't like messing with anything else. But then you can put in the uh, the bridge wallet address, and it always accepts that. No, no problems at all. And then uh, once your BNB is on 
You are MetaMask. You are set and ready to connect to the wonderful world of DeFi. That's about it. Um, short video. If you have any questions, hit me in the uh, in the comments, and I'll answer you. Um, I'll leave links to get the uh, the bridge wallet to the how to connect your uh, uh, finance smart chain to your MetaMask. How to add it the network to there if you need to do that. Um, so if you need anything else, like I said, just hit me in the comments. It was good hanging out with you, and I'll see you all in the next video.